Hi folks, welcome to another Odd Artworks. I'm Dewan Moore, illustrator and artist, and after painting this angry fella last week, I think I'm going to carry on doing weird D&D monsters reimagined in my own way. So, let's see where we go this week. Right then, back to the monster manual. This time I'm going to have a look at another common monster in D&D, those pesky little lizardy rodent things that bother you when you're trying to explore a mine or a mountain, the cobbled. Cobbles in earlier editions of the game were more goblin-like, but seem to have transitioned across many properties as either being more rodent-like or more lizard-like. They originate in German folklore, and these days are associated with being minions of greater threats, particularly dragons. The D&D description states that they are craven reptilian and worship evil dragons. They infest dungeons and dragons' lairs. They arm themselves with a dagger and a sling. The cobbled for me in this illustration looks far too threatening and too tough for a low-level encounter. Though I love the rendering, I don't think this cobbled has enough quirkiness in its character here. Alright then, let's see what I can do with this. So, I knew I wanted to make the cobbled quite quirky, because they are quite low-level encounters and, you know, they're, they're not particularly tough. But they do gather in big groups, they're scavengers. So I worked on the idea of working with a rodent, uh, kind of crossed with a lizard or a dragon to begin with. And my initial ideas were either too far one way or too far the other way and eventually I got kind of a happy pose. I wanted them to be kind of chunkier. Most cobbles are portrayed as being quite skinny. I want this guy to be a bit kind of, not beefy, but maybe a bit fat. Um, I like the idea that they are kind of dragon-like because they worship dragons. Um, so kind of like, you know, you know when you get a, a little dog who thinks they're a big dog and they act all tough, I kind of thought this guy would be a little bit like that until he came up against any kind of real trouble. And they're scavengers, so I wanted to have, a, you know, a pack with stuff on him and things like that. Um, I know at some point I am going to have to do a dragon, uh, so I definitely wanted to make this guy quite scaly, uh, so I could practice doing scales. It's not something I've done an awful lot of before. Um, felt like I got it with the drawing uh, as much as I needed to, as always. The drawing is just a guide for me for the painting. Uh, so I can solve any problems, you know, figure out what the character actually looks like. Uh, but yeah, I was reasonably pleased with the drawing in the end. So on to the painting. Uh, so rather than painting it in burnt sienna like I normally do, I knew I wanted to paint this guy a kind of bluish colour. So that's what I did with the underpainting. The reason I chose blue is because somebody told me in German folklore, uh, kobolds were found in cobalt mines. So I thought they might be blue and I thought that might be a nice little nod. Um, and also I've done a lot of kind of earthy tones recently. So I thought let's do something different. Um, I've gone into a fair bit of detail with this underpainting with the scales, mostly just so I could practice how I might end up doing them. Um, it's kind of a, a low pressure way of doing things, so I, I knew if I made a mistake I'd just paint over it anyway. And I wanted to see how it would look with the warmer tones of the leather and the clothes that the character is, is wearing and carrying. Um, and yeah, the underpainting worked just fine. Uh, just getting the values right, that's the main goal of the underpainting. I then did the background a burnt sienna to try and warm things up a little bit. I knew I was going to paint kind of like a, a creamy colour over the top of it, so this was just to give it a bit of bit of warmth, so that all those cool blues will will not be off-putting. Um, I always find that if you use too many cool colours, yeah, the image becomes I don't know, or certainly the way I make images, they become a bit I don't know, not very inviting. Um, so yeah, I was reasonably happy with that. Um, I have to say I had a lot of fun with this guy, but I did not really know how I was going to do any of it. Um, you know, with the horns I went way too dark to begin with. Um, and I think this is a good lesson for anybody who's taken up painting, is just don't give up. You know, it would be very easy to stop there, but, you know, I went over it, I let it dry, and I, you'll see I go back to it and I, I fix it. It's not a big issue, it's not the end of the world. Um, likewise with the scales, I knew I wanted him to have kind of like a hard, crunchy feeling kind of back and top of his head and maybe softer scales on his belly and, and the, the bottom half of his face. Uh, but I had no clue how I was going to do it, so, uh, you know, it was a lot of trial and error. Uh, but I, I'm quite pleased with where I got to in the end, so it bodes well for a future dragon painting. Um, 
you know, the folds underneath his mouth, I wanted to have one of those sort of, you know, kind of almost expandable kind of bottom jaws, almost like a frog's jaw that maybe he could puff himself up when he was angry. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted him to look kind of, kind of like somebody who wants to be as powerful as a dragon, but just, just isn't. Um, I don't think I've got too much more to say about the painting of this. Um, it was about a two and a half hour painting, um, all in all. Quite pleased with the result, think I achieved what I set out to. Uh, so I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of this painting.
Okay, that's the cobble just about done. Just doing the background and a few little highlights and lowlights there. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe for more. I aim to put, I aim to put a video out every Thursday. Um, let me know in the comments what you think and it, what you want me to do next. I think the next monster I'll do will probably be a bit more bestial. All of them have been quite humanoid for now. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time, folks. Take it easy. Goodbye now.